As you move into Goal 2 Division, you may find that your students are still a little unsure about how to represent division with whichever manipulative you're choosing to use. So I thought I'd show you a little bit about how this might happen with each of the four possible manipulatives that we discuss in FactsWise. If you use the snail animal strips for multiplication in Goal 2, you may decide that you want to use them for division as well. My recommendation, based on experience, is that you photocopy the image from the resource book that is pictured on the screen here. This allows students to keep the snails on a single page and simply use pieces of paper or their hands to isolate the groups of five. And the reason I suggest this is because the groups of 10 show up so clearly and the relationship between two sets of five equaling one set of 10. So if we were working on the problem 30 divided by five with this manipulative, the students could use a piece of paper to shade the bottom two rows of 10 so that now they just see three rows of 10 makes 30. And then, especially if you have this under a sheet protector, they can use a dry erase marker to circle the groups of five. And so 30 snails with five in each row or each group would give us six groups. If you decide you want to use the happy hundreds chart, the approach could be very, very similar. Again, the students can shade everything except the three rows at the top, and then they can highlight or dry erase mark groups of five, and they see that once again there are six groups of five. With Unifix cubes, it's a little bit more dynamic. The students can take off seven of the rows of ten, and then they can separate the groups of five that are remaining, and they'll once again be able to see that there are six groups of five. If you're using the Slavonic abacus, or as Math Learning Center calls it, the number rack, they can slide over three rows of ten. which makes 30, and then they can separate their groups of five slightly, and notice that there are six groups of five. Another possibility is the students will slide over one group of five at a time, and basically skip count, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I'm not excited about this approach. I, it certainly would demonstrate their understanding, but it would continue to rely on this idea that skip counting is the way to find both multiplication and division problems, which we know in the end is going to really interfere with students' long-term confidence and fluency with math. So it's one of the reasons that I'm a little bit leery about using the Slavonic abacus for goal two. Now, if you set up the problem first by asking the student to set up the dividend without telling them what the divisor is, so for instance, 30 snails are getting ready to march in a parade, and so the students slide over their 30, and then you tell them the rest of the story. So now we can say there are five snails in every row in the parade, then they can separate out their fives and see that it's going to take six rows of snails to march in that parade. So I hope that this was useful. One of the things that I've heard from teachers is that once they switch to division, they do find that the Unifix cubes turn out to be a really excellent manipulative, whereas when they're working with multiplication, 
they often use the animal strips or the Slavonic abacus or even the Happy Hundreds chart.